Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. Ang nakikita nyo ang radical expressions ay magiging bahagi ng ating talakayan sa video ito. Our topic is simplifying radical expressions to using the laws of radicals. Sa nakaraan nating video, nagkaroon na tayo ng pagtalakay sa laws of radicals at gagamitin natin ang mga yon upang masimplify ang radical expression. At may tatlo tayong paraan na inidiscuss para masimplify ang radicals. Ang mga ito ay, una, removing perfect and the power. Gamit ang formula ng ito ng ating laws of radicals. So pinag-aralan na natin ito sa laws of radical. Pakitignan sa ating previous video. The next one is reducing the index to the lowest possible order. So kung yan naman ang pag-uusapan natin, ito naman ang gagamitin nating laws of radicals. And the last one is rationalizing the denominator of the radicand. Isa-isa natin alamin ang lahat ng yan sa pamamagitan ng mga halimbawa. Unahin na natin ang unang paraan, removing the perfect end power. Okay, gamit ang removing the perfect end power, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay we are going to break down the radicand. So, radicand yung nasa loob ng radical side. So, ipapactor out natin siya isang perfect at pwedeng yung isa ay non-perfect end power. So, mas alamin natin kung ano yung ibig sabihin noon. Sa pamamagitan ng halimbawa, consider that we have the square root of 18. So, ano ang end root nito? Dahil siya yung square root, ibig sabihin ng end root niya ay 2. So, square root means 2. So, iisip tayo ng factor. Ibe-break down na yun yung binanggit kanina. Ibig sabihin, magpa-factor out tayo. Isang factor is perfect squared, isang factor ay hindi. Halimbawa, 18. Pag ang naisip niyong factor ay 6 times 3, hindi pwede yun. Kasi hindi perfect squared ang 6, hindi rin perfect squared ang 3. Dapat isang factor ay perfect squared tulad nito. So, square root of 9 times square root of 2, square root of 18. So, perfect squared ang 9, yung isa hindi. So, dapat ganun pagpili ng factor, isang perfect squared, isang hindi. So, tapos gamit ang laws of radicals, isi-change natin ito sa exponential or rational exponent. Kaya magiging 3 to the second, kasi 19 yun, then we have this. At makukuha na natin ang simplified form nito. So, magiging 3 times the square root of 2. Pwede naman yung direct na. Square root ng 9, 3. Tapos, kopyay na lang to kasi hindi na siya perfect square. Okay? So, yan yung unang example. And let's have the next one. How about the cube root of 24x to the 6th y to the 4th? And power. 3. So, ang index ay 3. So, ibig sabihin, dapat yung factor niya ay perfect cube root yung isa. Ito yung factor. So, ng 24. 8 times 3. 24. Hindi pwede yung 6 times 4. Walang perfect cube root. So, perfect cube root ang 8 kasi 2 times 2 times 2. Tatlong 2. That's 8. So, sana nasusundan. Ito naman, na i-break down natin. Yung exponent sa 2 times 3. Kaya x raised to 2 times 3. So, bakit kailangan i-break down? Dapat, itong exponent na nasa labas ng parenthesis ay pareha sa index. So, ang index ay 3. So, sa labas yung 3. Kaya hindi pwedeng nasa labas ang 2. So, dapat yung kaparehas ng index. Sana masundan kung kailan ilalagay dito ang 2, kung kailan ng 3. Next is y to the third o magtataka, y to the fourth yun eh. Kasi nga, ang y to the fourth hindi naman perfect tayo sa cube root. So, y to the third na lang. Iniwan natin yung y to the one, dito na mapupunta. Okay? Check natin. 8 times 3, 24. X raised to 2, raised to 3. So, x to the sixth. Then, y to the third times y, y to the fourth. So, tama na siya sa ating gibet. So, ito, kukunin na ang cube root nito. Lagay na natin ang sagot. Cube root ng 8 ay 2. Second, or x squared cube. Ang cube root noon ay 
uh, x to the second, then cube root ng y to the third ay y. So, kinopya na lang natin itong cube root of 3y. And that is our answer. Okay, let's check another one. Consider that we are going to have fourth root of 32. So, isip ulit tayo ng factor ng 32. At ang factor ng 32 ay fourth root of 16 times the fourth root of 2. So, kasi, kasi pwede i-change ang 16 sa 2 to the fourth. So, kapag ginawa mong 2 to the fourth yun, 16 yun. Kasi 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that will be 4. Isa isa nuli natin, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So, tama doon, fourth root na siya. Ito yung factor na perfect. Ano? Sa kanyang nth root. Ito naman yung hindi. So, kaya ito, magiging 2 na lang. Tapos, kinopya na lang natin yung fourth root of 2. And this will be our answer. Okay, let's have another one. How about the fourth root of 162x to the 8th, y to the 4th c? Factor out natin. Ang factor ng 162, 81 times 2. Bakit ito yung pinili? Perfect fourth root. Kasi meron tayong 3 to the 4th. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, 27. 27 times 3, 81. So, apat na beses multiply ang 3 sa sarili. Kaya perfect fourth root. So, we break down uli natin yung exponent. So, we have x raised to 2 raised to 4. Bakit napunta ang 4 sa labas ng parenthesis? Kasi perfect fourth root. So, y to the fourth, perfect fourth root na siya. Ito namang z, hindi. Kaya, ilagay na natin sa kabilang factor. Okay? Sana nasusundan natin. Okay, and the answer will be 3 x squared y times the fourth root of 2z. Fourth root ng 81, 3 4th root ng, ng x to the 2nd raised to 4 ay x to the 2nd. Tapos, y to the 4th, 4th root ay y. Then, ito wala naman na kinopya na lang. Okay, nasusundan. Okay, let's have the next method. So, gamit naman ng reducing the index to the lowest possible order. Napakalaga na alam natin ang index. Kasi when we talk of this, we are going to express the radical into an expression with the rational exponent. So, rational exponent, yung fraction ng exponent. Let's, let's check it. So, we have this one. 12 root of 64. Ito yung una nating gagawin. Ibi-break down natin yung index sa dalawa. So, 2 times 6, 12. Okay, bakit dito yung 6? Kasi perfect 6 root or Ano, perfect sixth root. Hindi pwedeng two kasi ang pinag-usapan sixth root. Okay na ha? So, kaya ang mangyayari dyan, we have this. Square root of the sixth root of two to the six kasi two times two is four. Times two sa pangatlo is eight. Sa pang-apat times two is sixteen. Pang-lima times two, thirty-two. Times two, sixty-four. Sa pang-anim, kaya two to the six is perfect na siya dito. So, matitira na lang dito ay two. Tsaka itong square root of two. Again, nawala na to, So, naiwan si 2 sa square root of 2. And this will be our answer. Okay, by another method, gamit ang reducing pa rin. Same example tayo. So, kung gagamitin natin itong isang paraan, yung iti-change natin sa binanggit ko kanina na rational exponent. So, ira rational exponent na nito ito, 1 over 12. Kaya 64 raised to 1 over 12. Sana nasisunda natin. At itong 64, pwedeng i-change sa 2 to the 6. Ito, in-explain na natin kanina. Sana nag-get. Tapos, i-multiply natin. Gamit ang laws of radicals yan, ha? So, kaya yun magiging 6 times 1 over 12. Kaya, 2 raised to 6 over 12. Kasi 6 times 1 is 6 over 12. Tapos, pwede itong i-lowest term. Pag ni-lowest term yan, 1 half. Tsaka natin i-change sa radical ang fractional exponent. At yun ay square root of 2. So, ito rin naman yung sagot. Parehas lang sila. Dalawang process yung ipinakita kung saan kayo mas madadalian, pwede nyo siyang gamitin. Let's have another one. How about the 20th root of 81a to the 8th, b to the 4th? Check natin. So, break down natin ng 20. 5 times 4. Bakit sa 4 natin ginamit? Kasi mayroong perfect tayo sa 81 na 4th root. Okay, ito naman, mabibreakdown din natin. Sa so, tsaka ito, mabibreakdown natin. So, we have this. So, again, ang 81 ay 3 to the 4th. I-breakdown natin yung 8. 
para perfect tayo sa for truth. Yung mas nasa loob na radical ang pinag-uusapan, hindi ito ha. So, kaya sa labas yung for perfect for truth na to. So, ang may iwan na lang dito ay 3 A to the second kasi wala na to mga 4. Wala na to, wala na to B. So, we have that. So, P root of 3, wala na si 4. A to the second, wala na si 4. B. So, yan yung magiging sagot natin. So, gamit yung kanina na iti-change sa rational exponent. So, we have this. So, kinopya natin ito. 3 to the 4th. Kasi yan na yun. 81 means 3 to the 4th. Kinopya natin ng 8 to the 8th. B to the 4th. 1 over 20 tayo. Okay na? Distribute natin ito doon. Isa-isa. Kaya magiging 3 raised to 4 over 20. 8 raised to uh, A raised to 8 over 20. Then B raised to 4 over 20. And we have this one. At pwedeng i-lowest term ito. Bawat isa sa kanila. At pag nilawest term, ito yung mangyayari. 4 over 20 means 1 pip. 8 over 20 means 2 pip. And 4 over 20 means 1 pip. So, pare-parehas na sila ng uh, denominator. Pwede nating isulat na ganito. 3, kinopya. A to the second, kasi 1 pip lang yung kailangan. B, tas ito na yan. Raised to 1 pip. At pwede na nating i-change sa radical and that's the pip root of 3a squared v so same answer any of the process na mas madali para sa inyo pwede niyo gamitin para mas simplify ang radicals and the third method is rationalizing the denominator of the radical pag sinabing rationalizing fraction na yung given dito rationalizing means it is the process of removing the radical sign in the denominator. So again, dapat ibig sabihin noon ang denominator walang radical sign. Let's have this one. Kung mapapansin nyo, we have square root of 5 over 3. So ibig sabihin itong square root na to para kay 5 at para kay 3. So may square root of 3 pa. So dapat mawala yon. At para mawala yon, titignan natin yung denominator. Kung ano yung denominator, multiply natin both numerator and denominator sa square root of 3. Okay, para pag tinime siya, 3 times 3, perfect na yan, squared. So, pag tinime siya, we have square root of 5 times square root of 3, square root of 15. Then, square root of 3 times square root of 3, square root of 9. And 9 is a perfect square. Kaya, ang may iwan ay square root of 15 over 3. Mawawala na ng radical kasi kinuha natin ang square root. At ito yung ibig sabihin ng rationalizing. So, mawawala ang radical symbol sa denominator kasi perfect squared na siya. Let's have another one. Cube root of the square root of 3 over x. So, ano ang denominator? x. So, para maging perfect squared yun, ito times natin sa hindi sa x. Kasi this is 3 times 3. So, perfect squared lang. Ay, to the third yan. So, ay x to the 1 lang to. So, para makompleto siya na sa index na parehas, sa x to the second natin, multiply. Kasi ang index ay 3. Okay na? So, cube root of the square root of x squared over x squared. Pag tinimes to, we have the cube root of 3x squared. So, 3 times x squared, we have 3x squared. Then, x times x squared is x cubed. Ito yung sinasabi na perfect cube root. Kaya, x to the second na i-times. Okay na? So, ibig sabihin ng denominator, mawawala na ng radical. Ito, kopyain lang, cube root of 3x squared. Ito, Perfect na siya, cube root, kaya mawala na yung radical sa niya, so over x. And that's the answer. How about the third one? Cube root of 3 over 98. So saan multiply? Kung titignan niya, hindi pa natin minultiply. Na-break down muna yung denominator. Mataas kasi yung number, mas nakakalito siya. So, Isipin nyo na yung isa sa factor ay perfect squared para malapit sa 3. Kung perfect na siya sa cube root, pwede naman diretso na dahil hindi naman perfect cube root to, dito muna tayo. Okay, para ma-multiply natin ngayon ito, kasi ibig sabihin ng 49 ay 7 to the second, kinopya lang natin, ito yan. Para maging perfect cube root, 7 to the second, para maging perfect cube root, ito times sa 7, para 7 to the third na to. Ito naman 2, Para maging perfect cube root, 2 to the second. So, both numerator and denominator. So, ang magiging sagot dyan, 3 times 7 times 4. Ibig sabihin yan, 3 times 7, 21 times 4, 
84. Cube root pa rin na kasi cube root yung given. Then ito naman ay hindi na natin minultiply kasi perfect cube root naman yan kasi kailangan natin matanggal. So ito yan o, oh, 7 squared, 7 to the third kasi time is 7. Ayan o, oh, 7 squared tsaka 7, 7 to the third, 2 tsaka 2 squared, 2 to the third, lows of exponent. Ito yung mangyayari. Kinopya pa rin natin ito. Ito naman ay perfect cube root na siya. Itong 7, kaya 7 na lang. Pati itong 2 to the third, yun na yun. So, magiging 40 na ngayon. Ito. So, we have that square root of, a uh, cube root of 84 over 14. And that will be our answer. Sana, sana nasasundan natin. Okay, let's have the next one. How about this one? Fourth root of 5 over 8y. So, dapat perfect sa fourth root. So, kung mapapansin, 8 is 2 to the third. Hindi pa rin perfect sa fourth root. Kailangan pa natin ng isang 2. So, imumultiply natin yan sa 2 root 2. Tama na yan. 2 to the third, tsaka 2 to the fourth. Why? Y to the third para 1 ito. Y to the fourth na. Tama na tayo sa fourth root. So, both numerator and Denominator. Ang sagot ay 5 times 2 is 10 y to the third. Ito naman ay 2 to the third tsaka 2, 2 to the fourth. y at y to the third, y to the fourth. And what happened is this. Kinopya natin itong fourth root of 10 y to the third kasi hindi na perfect fourth root. Pero ito, 2 to the fourth, magiging 2 na lang kasi perfect na siya doon. y to the fourth, magiging y na lang kasi perfect fourth root na siya. So, sana naintindihan natin, Kamato Class, ang tatlong paraan kung paano mag-simplify ng radicals. God bless us!